Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So I hope you enjoyed the slideshow that showed the progress of putting this uh, diorama together. You may recall that um, this was um, inspired by a photograph that I found and I actually found it, I think, when I was looking um, for <clears throat> um, information on the Whippet tank. And uh, basically, I thought that the photograph was taken in France during World War I, but uh, it wasn't. It was um, the photograph was taken 17th of May 1920. And it, what would happen was um, there were um, some large casks of tobacco that were thrown in the um, River Liffey in um, Ireland. I think it's actually uh, Dublin. Uh, the river passes through Dublin. And so some British troops um, were sent with a truck to retrieve them. And what happened was um, the truck um, got stuck in the um, foreshore of the, of the river and had to be pulled out by a whippet tank. Now, this isn't identical to the photo. If you, I'll try and put a um, couple of links to two photographs I found of the incident. Um, so it's not identical at all. Uh, as I say, it just inspired me to, to do this diorama. There was um, a pile of tobacco, it looked like, on the um, ramp uh, in the photograph. So I've uh, tried to replicate that with some dried leaves uh, crushed up that um, Greg Riley um, sent to me. So I don't know how much detail I need to or want to go into about finishing this um, diorama off. The, you possibly saw I scratch built the door to have it open on the tank. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a basic thing, that's just a bit of um, card, plastic card. And then I just took the block that was on the bottom of the door from the kit um took that off and then just put it back on this one and then i put this ball joint in here which is where one of the machine guns goes in the photograph um, the machine guns on either side look like they're missing and there's just the one machine gun in the front so that's why I, um that's why it looks like that um the whippy um was nearly another disaster i <coughs> painted it the um uh, British Olive Drab 4445 which I did for the other whippet that I made and then I decided to dry brush it. The dry brushing wasn't showing up so then I put a lighter tone on and I just was so heavy handed that when I finished doing the dry brushing I basically repainted the tank a really um, bright green colour and uh, similar to the figures I thought I'd um, screw things up again. So initially what I did was I put the Ethonian camo shading, which I'd um, done for the figures, I put that on the tank. That didn't seem to do much at all. So I just thought, you know what, um, I just got the dark wash from uh, from MIG or from Ammo. Um, and I just threw that all on, painted it all on, and then it took me about 50 um, Q-tips to get the stuff off. Uh, because of the rivet detail on the tank, it was just shredding the the Q-tips, um, but anyway, I got most of it off, and we're with, left with this result, which is much better than um, than uh, it, it was initially, and I'm much happier with it. So, um, so that was a good thing. Um, the planking here is just, um, you know, the stirring sticks you get from coffee shops. I just cut a few up, um, gave them a wash of um, Agrax Earthshade, I think it was. But uh, then the wife said to me that they looked too, uh, they looked almost mahogany and too new. So I threw some um, a, a dust wash on the planks and then wiped that off. So that was that. The mud is the, um, um, the textured paint from Games Workshop Armageddon dust. Uh, and what I did was I added some um, of the mud wash from Migamo again to it to tone it down because it was quite a light colour and I wanted it a bit darker and uh, obviously because it's um, textured paint it, it clumps up so I just um, put it in um, blobs here and there to look as if it's stuck to parts of the truck or has you know fallen off in the blob um, from the truck. Uh, then what I did once it was dry I came in with um, some um, 
uh, clear floor polish and just tried to make it where some of the mud was still wet and left it uh, left other parts alone so it looked as if it had dried on the truck. The the crushed leaves, um, initially what I tried to do, and I did it on a bit of greaseproof paper, thank God. Um, I got some got some of the crushed leaves, I put some of that diluted PVA on it, but um, it wasn't drying, so um, I thought, I know what, I'll use a hairdryer. And basically I put this hairdryer on and I blew the whole sodding lot across the kitchen uh, counter. So that didn't work at all. So what I did with this one was um, I got some uh, got some more and uh, I dripped on some um, um, super glue uh, and then I just kept adding the leaves um, on top of the super glue as well so it was all sticking and uh, jobs were good and, and then when it was uh, dry I then came in with the clear floor polish just to try and make sure I've got it all um, covered and all stuck together. Once that was done I then use some of the, um, I think I just used clear floor polish and some of the brown wash again to try and give the, the impression that uh, obviously water was coming out of the tobacco as it was uh, either, well, as it was drying out basically. And I tried to show it coming down the side here as well. So that is it um, for this build. I, it's, I think it may be my biggest build um, I did do another one uh, on one of these balsa wood bases uh, which was the T34 that was being recovered from the swamp so I've got one as long as this but it's, it hasn't got all this um, detail on it um, that's just um, a snow covered um, like excavation type thing so I'm really chuffed with the way that this has turned out um, thanks ever so much guys for all your kind comments and support whilst I've been doing this I really do appreciate it so what I want to do next is crack on with the um, the buddy build that I'm doing with Doug, although Doug's already finished his, in fact I think he finished his before I opened my box, uh, which is the Swift Boat. And I know that Chris uh, from Classic Plastic is also doing that to build as well, and I think um, Matt Hills is also looking to do it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've um, been trying to get a bit of work done on that. Um, there's the big regroup build to do, I've got the... Um, the um, Scammel, the Airfix 176 scale Scammel to do. Um, I won't be entering the uh, eight plane group build. Um, I did the first year because I wanted to support Charlie, um, but it's not really something that uh, I'm into at the moment, um, perhaps next year. Um, so yeah, there's plenty for me to get on with. Um, I've surprised, I uh, worked out the other day that I've actually done a model a week um, since the beginning of the year so uh, that's pretty cool uh, I'd like to keep that up um, as I've mentioned that possibly if I did at the beginning of this video I'm some somebody who likes to have quick projects I, I can't spend um, weeks on one particular project so I do like to have um, projects completed at least within a week so then I can move on and do something new um, thanks ever so much for watching guys, I do appreciate it. Uh, I've been looking at your videos um, for your various uh, group build entries and uh, just uh, ad hoc builds that you want to do which is great. Some cracking stuff um, coming out on YouTube, really enjoying it. Uh, I hope you had a good weekend, it's Monday tomorrow so that four letter word tomorrow. And uh, Look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.